everybody, uh, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Moffax Tactical Suit Batman. Uh, I had previously bought this figure, but uh, uh, that's the danger about having pets. Uh, got to them, I fixed it up as best I could, but I, I had to get a replacement, and here's the replacement. Um, now this figure is, um, uh, it's, uh, pretty hard to get. As far, as far as, you know, uh, you know, being able to track it down online. And if you do, and you're lucky enough to get it, uh, to f find a new one box, Unfortunately, that's gonna cost a lot. Uh, I got this one used because, well, the uh, that's all I can afford at the moment. Uh, and really, this is one of those. Uh, this is one of those figures I had to replace. It's just a weird OCD kind of deal. Don't ask. Um, but anyway, this is the, the Tactical Suit, uh, Moff X Batman from the Justice League movie. Um, uh, as you can see, he has a pretty good amount of, uh, articulation. The head can go so, swivel back and forth, even the neck could move. And it's pretty sturdy. Let's see what else. Let's see, the arms can move. Uh, as so, you got a bicep cut right here that can move. Uh, it's supposed to be a double hinged uh, elbow, but uh, I really don't want to force it. Uh, I'm just breaking it. <laughs> I was, I just don't want to break this one, and but this one does move quite well. You can see this is uh, was this? I think this is from the scene where he was blasting those uh, parademons in the movie. And yep, I have no life. Um, uh, this one is. This Batman in particular is pretty massive compared to the, uh, uh, compared to, uh, well, compared to the Henry Cavill version. I mean, if I put, uh, yeah, I mean, like in real life, you know, Ben Affleck's like 6'4". So, you know, and regular actors are like 5'2", five 5'4", five if that. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I hope they reissue this one soon because I know there's a Netflix series uh, coming out. In a few years, uh, with Zack Snyder directing it, uh, since that whole, this whole woke debacle, um, uh, and we'll go on a tangent about that, this is, the legs can move as much as that, go back that much, uh, you know, remarkably for a used figure, this is, uh, this is in pretty good shape. Um, uh, even my first one, unbeknownst to me, had, uh, broken butterfly joints. And this one does not. And, so, yep. All right. 
so yeah i picked the head with the shades on it this time just for a little switch and let's see again moving on to the accessories and whatnot uh i'll just show you guys the major ones let's see one two Okay, and Let's see what else he's got in there. Uh, he comes with uh, three of these um, uh, batarangs. Uh, they're real tiny and easy to lose, so if you have this figure or per want to purchase it, just be aware. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? He comes with uh, his grapple gun, of course. Here's one of them. Let's see if I can point it this way. Get a better look. Yep. That's one of the grapple guns. Uh, where's the other one? Here's another one. Let's see how we get a good view. Uh, to be honest, uh, at one point I was considering going with a bootleg, but uh, mm, just couldn't do it. And here is, is one of the optional heads. You can just pop it on and off. Uh, that's a great thing about these important figures. Uh, you can all the accessories that come with them, and they're relatively easy to fix. So that goes for one. Go back a bit more. There we go, and. It also comes with a bunch of hands, you know, uh, the rest of the batterings and whatnot. Uh, oh, uh, it even comes with this uh, little uh, uh, bat bomb, which you can put on the stand, and it's like he's throwing it, which is, well, Pretty cool, I gotta admit. Yeah, um, this is probably this is one of the purchases that well that happens when um, you uh, well you make a mistake. And all we can do from that is learn from our mistakes. So, um, I believe I'll be switching this guy to a safer spot so history doesn't repeat itself. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to show you guys the little toes. Uh, they pivot up and down. They get up. Ball rocker. Uh, even if you went out at some height or more flexibility, the hips come down. Although they are a bit wobbly on mine. And I come to think of, I, 
that's pretty much all of them with this particular figure. But yeah, I mean, it's a... Uh, Unless you're intentionally trying to wreck it, uh, it's a pretty good, durable little figure. Um, it's certainly one of my favorite, uh, you know, certainly one of my favorite uh, uh, Batman designs, suit-wise. And this is probably the only time that Batman was put portrayed the way he was meant to be portrayed you know uh I re if i recall the original batman from the late 30s early 40s he's carried a gun so yeah white people freaked out when uh when ben, ben affleck's batman uses a gun i i i'm like well yeah common sense <laughs> i mean we saw how long christian bale's batman lasted and um uh what i like about this character is like you know he's portrayed the way batman was supposed and meant to be portrayed as and that's uh you know a brutal uh badass I mean, I mean, check out the detail on this guy. A uh, little gold paint apps. And for those of you who are good at customizing, good for you. I am not. And I can tell you one thing. Uh, try to be careful with the be careful with the paint job on these guys, because it's not there. It's not easily remedied. Um, I mean, look at all the detail that's been painted in. You know, from every like from even from back here. There's detail. Oh, and right here is how you can tell if it's the real deal or a bootleg. It has to see, has that little uh, DC trademark on the belt. And yes, the cape, uh, it's a wire cape. Although I just like it, let's keep it in, uh, you know, that style. Just kind of chilling back. Uh, yep, uh, this is, uh, I'm, I don't know how to feel. I'm glad I was able to replace it, but I should have been more careful with it to begin with. So, even at my age, I still have to, a lot to learn and to remember. And I think that goes for all of us. Well, that or whatever. Uh, well, you guys have a good one. Have fun. Stay safe. Uh, relax. And yeah, until next time, please subscribe and like. Thank you.